The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there's no remission. Yep. He shed his blood on the cross. Amen. In 1987, a preacher who has denied the efficacy of the blood of Christ Say by saying that it's the death of Christ and not his blood that saves. Uh, Dr. John MacArthur. Right. I was at summer camp in the summer of 1987. And in early August, I received a call from Dr. MacArthur's secretary who told me that Dr. MacArthur would like to meet with me. I agreed to meet. I said, we'll meet in my office. So on August the 24th of 1987, Dr. MacArthur and his assistant, a man named Dr. Provost, came to my office. And he walked in and he said, what do you have against my doctrine on the blood of Christ? I said, Dr. MacArthur, I have several things against your doctrine. I said, for example, in your 1976 letter, you said in one sentence, there is nothing in his human blood that saves. And I said, Dr. MacArthur, in that one sentence, there are two heresies. I said, first of all, his blood was not human blood. His blood was the blood of God. Dr. MacArthur said, where do you get that? I said, I get that in Acts 20, 28, where the Bible says, feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. He, he said, so you make the antecedent of God, uh, of the word he, the word God. I said, it's the only possible antecedent. I have checked with college grammarians about that. And I said, secondly, the Bible says we are justified by his blood. We have peace with God through his blood. We are made near unto God by his blood. We have remission of sins through his blood. We have forgiveness through his blood. And I said, I believe all those things spell salvation. Amen. And we... we... We continued our debate for a little over an hour, about an hour and 10 minutes, if I recall. And his voice got louder and louder as he became more and more frustrated. And finally, he got up and walked out of the office, and his assistant followed him. And I went to my secretary, Mr. Ladd, and said, Bobby, did you notice Dr. MacArthur's voice getting louder and louder and louder as we discussed the issue of the blood? He said, I noticed that. You see, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Amen. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. 